Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. The park has been closing around 6 and 7 o'clock, so I wanted to come out and make a video to see what you can get done in just a little bit of time. We have three hours left until the park closes at 7, so let's go do this. I'm picking Islands of Adventure for this experiment because this is open the latest. This is open till 7 p.m. while Universal side closes at 6. Of course, it's important to get something to eat so that we can give ourselves some energy. And one place I want to go to is like a spot that I really, really do enjoy, and that's Confisco Grill. They have an annual pass holder lounge where you can order food and drinks and get an amazing view. So we're going to start there. Right here we are, no reservation needed. We just walked right up. And here is a look at the menu. They've got Trader Wings, Chicken Quesadilla. They have a catch of the day, a Pad Thai, a Penny al Vodka. Very good food here, I'm excited to try. Something I haven't had before. Now, I don't want to rush around. I actually want to take my time and enjoy the park because that's like the most important thing. I mean, you can rush and get a lot done, but actually relaxing and having fun at the same time, that's the true test. Today might be my lucky day. A ladybug landed on me. They say that's good luck. I hope it is. I don't want it to go. It'll fly away when it's ready. Goodbye, ladybug. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, goodbye, ladybug. <laughs> when you go inside Confisco's, you can dine in or you can dine on the outside. And this is just amazing because the outside is like such an amazing view. I love it. But inside is nice and AC'd, so you have to pick and choose. But if you think the view from here is good, wait till I show you where we're going next. This is unbelievable i am so honored to be going out here look at how amazing this is oh, i have never been up here before this is so breathtaking everything you get to watch everyone just going about their busy days the hulk doing its thing the hogwarts castle stunning and then on this side, you get to see all of the people coming into the park. So amazing. You can even see the speakers that have like the, the voice effects and the sounds for when you're walking through Islands of Adventure. Now I'm at the table and I'm happy that we're gonna dine inside. It is nicely themed Mardi Gras, but I'm more about the AC at the moment. I mean, it's a beautiful day out there, but you gotta cool off a little bit. You gotta, you gotta stay cool. Cheers. I've been joined by Jackie. Cheers, Cheers. to Confisco. To Confisco. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at the menu. They have the feature UOAP favorite, the Wagyu beef burger. This changes weekly, and I think I've had this already in the past. Last time I was here, I had the pad thai, and it was good, but the best part was the protein. I wasn't a big fan of the sauce, but they have other amazing things like I showed before. But today, it's all about the Wagyu. The Wagyu burger came and it looks so amazing. I got the onions and the garlic aioli on the side along with the brie cheese because I don't know how I was gonna feel about that. It kind of looks like slices <laughs> of cake, doesn't it? It does. Very fancy. Yeah. And then of course it comes with french fries. Mm. You know, I was in the mood for a burger today mm. and I think Confisco's delivered. Oh yeah, that was delicious. I added a little french fries on there. I love the red wine, caramelized onions, and the garlic aioli. The only thing I didn't go with was the brie cheese. I'm not a big fan of the brie. Now we are all done with dinner, and it was amazing. I absolutely love the burger, but it's time to move out into the park and ride some rides. First ride of the evening is gonna be in Seuss Landing, and it's gonna be the Caro Seussel. Carousel. I don't know how to pronounce it so much. Maybe you guys can give me a go. Carol Susel. Carousel. <laughs> I have been on a carousel kick recently, riding all different types. I did a double decker one, a small one, a Disney Springs one. So when I was coming to Universal today, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ride the carousel there. And we get to see thing one, thing two, and the cat in a hat. How awesome is that? 
Yeah. I think that all just rhymed. That's the way to get in the mood. They're really fun and they actually dance around and pose with you. I like how they do the uh, like meet and greets now. I mean, it's great to go up and be able to hug a character and stuff like that, but socially distanced like that, I still think it's very fun. I even like the Grinch because he could still insult you from a distance. It also looks like the carousel is only a five minute wait. So we're not even gonna use our Universal Express Pass, even though we could. These guys are a lot more special. Look at this. So fancy, right? I don't know which one I want to get on. Oh, look at how happy that cow looks. <laughs> I love it. Whoa. We need more cowbell, Jackie. More cowbell. Lift it up. Yeah. I can't. Oh, look at There it is. We got to hit it. It's not working. <laughs> Honestly, I love carousel. This one is so bright and beautiful. I really like this. It's not a carousel, it's a carousel. 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 <laughs> you can even see there's some animations on the top, too. Yeah. Oh, we're coming to an end here. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Now you need more cowbell. Since we just got off the carousel, maybe we'll head on over to one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish is kind of like Dumbo, but it looks so relaxing. Oh, you actually get wet on this ride. Don't tell Jackie, I bet you she doesn't know. So we're gonna catch her off guard. And if we sit together, I'm gonna sit on the inside so I don't get as wet. This is your first time riding this, right? Uh, sure. Right? I can't, I can't remember. It. You can't remember? I can't remember. I am about 100% sure she has never rode this ride before, or else she would know that you get wet. <laughs> Each one is actually marked, so this is blue fish. Yep. I don't know why it's wet. It's not. It's, you don't get wet on this ride. I don't think so. Look at the seatbelt. It's soaked. That's from it dangling in the water. Yeah, it's dangling in the water. We don't actually get wet, but because the seatbelts hang over the carts, it looks like you get wet. It's like a little bit of a splash here. Oh yeah, because this shuts off. Yeah. This shuts off when uh, it takes off. It really tricks you, and it makes you think you get. You're definitely tricked, right? Like you think you're gonna get wet, but you don't. And you do control it up and down, so that's really awesome. And each one is actually marked one fish, two fish, blue fish, red fish. Our fish ride is now beginning. We're going all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Oh, we're all the way up! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! It's not fast. Oh, look at the next one. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? No! We're going down. It gives you instructions, aren't these? Oh, yeah. It was all pile. It was all. A, it was all a prank. It was all a part of it. I knew. I knew it was happening. I knew you didn't know. That's why I was like, "Hey, is it your first time riding this?" Uh huh. I got you. <laughs> So far, we're doing excellent. Rode two rides and had dinner, and now we're gonna head on over to the Lost Continent. There's no rides over here, but maybe we'll get a drink. If not, we'll just proceed right to Hogsmeade. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up, man? 
Nice, nice to see you here. Oh, look at your uh, name tag. Sir Jinx, I love I it. I love it. <laughs> really cool. Sometimes people come up and they say, hi, Jinx. Hi, Jinx. Hello. Oh, Hello. you're good, you. <laughs> Our friend Hi, Jinx is showing us how he uh, engraves these necklaces. Like, isn't that fancy? You get to pick a design and he makes it right here. I That's never even knew engraving. it. It's stamping it in. Oh, stamping, not engraving. Rest the ourselves, hammer coming down. Hammer coming down. And strike. Whoa! And the lotus flower. Very, very fancy. <laughs> Well, thank you, Sir Jinx. <laughs> that was really cool. I didn't even know that was there. And uh, that's my buddy Orlando Mike. And he told me that it is an opening day thing. Like that coin, uh, well, stamper, has been there since opening day of Islands of Adventure. So now we're going to head right on into Hogsmeade. Maybe check out Flight of Hippogriff and also maybe a Hogshead. Who knows? But look at that can never get tired of walking into Hogsmeade. In fact, I think that sounds like a great plan. So we're gonna hop into Hogshead and grab a beer and then head on over to the Flight of Hippogriff, which is one of my favorite rides. And they now have officially changed the entrance to Hogshead. So you have to walk through the alleyway. That seems like something fancy, but you'd also get a good view of the Velocicoaster from back here. I like it a lot. Oh. Good day to you too, sir. Good day, thank you. <laughs> and here it is. Take a look at that. Three layers. So we start at the bottom there, and it's got that nice cider and a very light color. Then we go up a little bit to the hog's head, and that's the original like uh, beer that they have here. And then of course top it off with Guinness. There's just something good about sitting out here, drinking your beer, watching the coaster. Definitely gives out good vibes. I used to love coming out here and eating before the coaster was ever even like built. So still very relaxing. Oh boy. Uh -oh, the Cheers to the Velocicoaster. coaster. Hold on to the Oh the lights oh, turned the on! <laughs> Now we're all finished up and we need to head on over to the Hippogriff, but some plants are making a lot of noise back here. Do you want plenty of butter beer? Do <laughs> you want a butter beer? <laughs> Would you like hot, cold, or frozen? I think you said frozen. <laughs> now it's time we get on a flight of the Hippogriff. Only a 15 minute wait and we're going to use our express. Yeah, let's use our express. The reason this is one of my favorite rides is because of the views of Hogwarts Castle you get. It's so magnificent from up there and you're so close. I mean, it's kind of just like a slow roller coaster, more or less like the goofy roller coaster at the Magic Kingdom, but I love it. Look at this. Hang on to your hat there, Jackie. Look at that view, isn't it amazing? Wait till we get over here when we peek. I love it. You get to see all of Universal. Wow. Oh, we're going down. too good I love it so quick the ride's like literally 20 seconds I am half tempted to hop back on again because it is a walk-on we only got about 20 minutes left of the park being open so I don't know if we're gonna try to ride something else or if we're gonna do that again Wow look at that beautiful walking through here right now it's a shame the parks are closing so early 20 minutes to go and the park is shutting down it's so beautiful out but now we're coming up on my second favorite part of Universal, and you can hear the music. It's kicking in. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, I love it. I would totally be all about riding Jurassic Park, 
except for we would get totally soaked and we can't film on it. So I think we'll head on over to Kong, which is the next ride, because I just marvel whenever I see Kong. Marvel at the great King Kong. Before we ride Kong, we get to come face to face with another amazing predator. Look at that. So happy to see it back. It's been gone away for a while. But here we are with just three minutes to spare. Skull Island. Definitely the scariest queue out of any ride I've ever been on. Amazing. Look at it. So terrifying in here. We gotta put our spectacles on without stabbing myself in the eye. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Thank you. That was amazing. Fun fact, it was my childhood dream to always come to Universal Studios and ride Jaws and Kong. Sadly, I got to ride Jaws, but Kong was gone before I ever came here. So this is the closest that I got to it. But I wish that I could have rode that original Kong confrontation. Uh, I can only imagine how great it would have been. I still love the animatronic at the end of this because a lot of people don't even know it's an animatronic, but at the end there, you come face to face with Kong. He is huge and he's ferocious and he actually like yells and you can feel the vibrations. But wow, I love it. Like I said, I really get happy about Kong. Sadly enough now, the park is closed. Look at all this amazing weather and skies. It makes me so sad when they close at seven and six o'clock because like, you know, it's just like a perfect day. Like I would actually love to close out the night by taking a dip down this and getting soaking wet, but they won't let us in line. So we're gonna make our way out of Islands of Adventure into City Walk. Like I said, it's such a shame that they're closing on the park right now. Time change. Maybe it's because I just want to go all night long into the night. All night long. All night. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad we weren't able to ride that bad boy. Oh boy, look at her go. Look at him go. With that, I think I'm gonna call it a night here. So much fun. I feel like we got so much accomplished in three hours. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Look at that. If you guys made it this long in the video, I wanna reward you with a beautiful sunset from Islands of Adventure. So I hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, <laughs>